I'm going to talk about the CRPH or the committee representing Pyeongsang Su Luta. Hopefully, I'm uh, pronouncing that properly. Um, so this, uh, the CRPH, is kind of a, a shadow government that um, it has formed kind of in opposition to the to the military uh, after they took over on February 1st in the in the military coup. And so on in the days, you know, February 1st, February 2nd was supposed to be the essentially like the signing in of the newly elected government. So there was an election that happened in November of 2020. And this is when the new government kind of convenes and the military jumps in right at that time and um, and takes over. So for some of the people that are that were involved, like the um, state councillor An San Suu Kyi and the president um, and many other people, they were taken into custody at that time. And for those who weren't, um, they went into hiding um, and they've kind of created the CRPH as a way to to, you know, sort of have the, uh, you know, uh, the democratically elected um, government sort of in place. Now, um, of course, they don't have the powers. They are, um, it appears as they're certainly in hiding, some in exile, maybe out of the country. Um, but they are kind of communicating. And, and I th the idea is essentially that, that countries won't, um, because they don't want to be involved with the military regime, they will um, listen to the CRPH and what they want to do because they were the democratically elected folks. Now, this isn't the CRPH isn't all of the people who were elected. It's a it's a segment, and and basically from the NLD or the National League of Democracy, um, that main kind of uh, political party, and the one that got the vast majority of the votes, you know, more than eighty percent, um, in this past election. Now, um, the, f the public face of the CRPH is a Dr. Sasa. And Dr. Sasa is, um, uh, is a, a little bit of a harrowing tale when it came, like um, in, in the hours after the military coup, he said that he was able to um, kind of escape over the course of, of, he said it took him three days and nights to get out, posing as a, as a taxi driver. and. Although we don't know where he is right now, for safety reasons, um, he may be outside of the country. So if you're seeing on the news somebody in Myanmar, you know, actually, you know, from the CRPH, it would likely be Dr. Sasa. So you'll see him and um, uh, speaking, and he's a, a fairly charismatic uh, dude as well. So that's the idea of the CRPH and why they want to be they want to be that link for foreign governments to be talking to them rather than the military uh, regime.